Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your January 11th through the 20th, 2018 reading for you. Now this, oh, 2019 <laughs> reading for you. Now this is really exciting because this is the first reading that I am doing for you guys in the new year, and I would like to thank you those who are new to the station, those who have been with me for a while, for tuning in and seeing what January 11th through the 20th, 2019 has in store for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. All right, Leo. So we're going to shuffle the cards and see what Spirit has to say for you. And just remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to my channel. This is the way that you guys let YouTube know that you guys like the like the channel and like the videos and it will help me along so thank you guys so much for doing that and if you would like to book a private reading with me all that information will be in the description box below all right show me clearly show me clearly leo sun moon or ascendant january 11th through the 20th 2019 show me clearly, leo january 11th through the 20th 2019 show me Leo, January 11th through the 20th, 2019. Show me clearly, Leo, January 11th through the 20th, 2019. Show me clearly, Leo, January 11th through the 20th, 2019. Show me clearly, Leo, January 11th through the 20th, 2019. Show me clearly, Leo, January 11th through the 20th, 2019. That's lovely right there. And there you are. I knew you were going to show up, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. All right, Leo, you guys are shown in the Minor Arcana by the Wands. So you're coming through as the Queen of Wands here. This is a more loving energy around you. Uh, a you atypical male, female energy. So. If you are a male watching this, do not worry, or whatever you identify as. The Queen of Wands is just saying that you are embracing your own personal power a bit more. You are really looking inward and at what you truly want and being more caring and nurturing, not only to those around you, but mainly to yourself. Okay, so there is that energy here. You're standing before the altar of what it is that you want. You have two very, you have three major arcana cards here, but two very powerful ones. One about turning inward, looking at what it is that you want, because there's something that you have lost that you are mourning, that it's almost as if you need to have these strong emotions, you need to have this time of sorrow, but see that love is still around you. There is a sense of celebration of moving forward in a relationship. You could be moving home, you could be moving jobs. It, it all depends, but it there is a lot of movement here. So it could be that you, some of you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, are moving homes, are moving jobs, are looking for a new way to go about your life, to embrace something new in 2019. You may also be looking to have your relationship move forward in a very real, very tangible way. We have water signs around you. This is Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is also you embracing that kind of energy. So in these 10 days, you have your passion here. You know what it is that you want. You're paying attention to the details, but you are also looking at your mind. You are understanding and comprehending more about yourself than really ever before. And you're kind of discovering what it is that makes you truly happy, what it is that you don't want. There's also going to be messages from spirit that are coming your way. Pay attention to them. They're going to be different for each and every one of you. So I don't know exactly what they're going to be, but they're going to come in small, subtle ways. And it's all going to be about new beginnings, new opportunities. Then you have love moving you forward, healing. You have your armor on. This is also saying not to take everything that everybody says around you too seriously. Seriously, there is a sense here of you moving forward, but there's also a sense with the five of cups that you can be caught in the undertow of other people's emotions, what other people are thinking of you, what other people want of you, and looking at the betrayals and hurts that you hadn't expected coming your way. There is something that is going to happen 
in these 10 days that is going to cause you heartbreak. It is going to cause you pain. Maybe not for all of you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, but for some of you, it is going to be a time where you sit there and you look at things and you're really reevaluating what's important to you, what it is that you want, but you're embracing your own personal power and you're turning inward. You're turning towards what it is that you want in life and how it is that you want to move forward. And it's taking a tremendous amount of courage on your part. So I want you to celebrate the fact that you are going after your dreams and going after what it is that you want. We're going to start with the Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords is a beautiful card. It is about you turning inward. It is about you looking at what it is that you want, logically understanding things. For me, swords are all about the mind. It's also about aristocracy because aristocracy back in the Middle Ages were the only people who got to fight with swords. So it is also saying that you're using your mind, you're using your logic in order to propel you forward in the way that you want to be seen in the world. This is also a student card. So you're learning, you're understanding. You are on a cusp of something big coming into your life, of some comprehension that is going to be moving you forward in a very real, very tangible way. You're also cutting through doubts and you're cutting through fears. This could also be for some of you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendants. This could be a young air sign that's around you that is helping you move forward, that is helping you see things differently. It's almost as if they say something and you go, oh my gosh, I never looked at it that way before. So this is a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, but they're, it's just somebody who is giving you guidance and they're not even meaning to give you guidance. It's not like they're sitting there saying, oh, let's sit down, let's talk about this. No, they are giving their opinions about things and it's opening up your horizons. So it could also come in that way, but there's a lot of awakening of self that is going on. It's not as if you've been closed, but for some of you, there has been this sorrow that has kind of shut you down just a little bit or things have gotten hard and now you're looking at things a bit differently. Now you're seeing things with a bit more clarity. So this is saying to go with it, to learn, to understand, to take this kind of student energy that is around you, this sense of wonder that is leading you forward, and really embrace it because it's going to lead to something beautiful. It's going to lead to messages coming your way. It's going to lead to insights that you hadn't seen before. For those of you who are working on a project and want to be kind of heading in a new direction, you're going to be seeing things a little bit differently. You're going to have this little kind of aha moment that is going to help bring things into alignment and let people really see the hard work that you're putting into things. Let people really see that you are moving forward and making progress and you kind of coming to the forefront of things. There's also a sense here with the Page of Swords, for those of you who aren't in business, of you looking at things differently and just finding a bit more harmony within your existence because you have found a way to maybe utilize your time better, to get people on a better schedule, to really sit there and say, you know what, this is a new year, this is a new me, and you're focusing on what it is that you want, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Instead of focusing on the way that everybody else is perceiving you or what everybody else wants from you, you're sitting there and saying, what is best for me? And that's absolutely valuable, especially as we go into the new year and as we're embracing the new year. Then you have the page, not the page, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups can represent a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. This is also saying that you are moving forward. You have your armor on. Definitely, I keep on going back to this Five of Cups because I do feel for a lot of you, there has been disappointment, there has been sorrow, and there has been a hardship in your life that you have had to kind of overcome in order to move forward. And now you have your armor on. You're moving forward in healing, prosperous love. You're moving forward embracing what it is that you want. Your emotions are kind of, I'm, I'm saying at the beginning of these 10 days, and you may find that it happens again, like you fall back into this pattern, but emotions are kind of pulling you down. You feel as if you're being pulled by the undertow of what it is that you truly want, the way that you truly want to move forward. And so you're sitting there and you're looking at things differently. You have to kind of step back a little bit Again, keep that armor on. Know that everybody is going to have their opinions. Everybody is going to have a way that they want things done. You have to do what is right for you. You have to move forward in your prosperity, in your beauty, in your understanding. And that's what you're doing. Now, it might be that for some of you, a a water sign is going to be there to help you move forward, to help you obtain your goals, to kind of sit there and take you, not literally by the hand, but help you to not get weighed down with <clears throat> excuse me, 
the burdens of others that might try to, to weigh you down, might try to steal away your happiness. This is focusing on what you want and keep on moving forward. Keep your eye on the gold. Know that everybody is going to have their opinion. Know that everybody is going to have a certain way that they want you to do things. But while you're listening to your heart and what your soul wants, while you're listening to the higher power of the divine that is guiding you, the universe that is guiding you, you're going to be making the right decisions. So it doesn't matter if I feel like you're getting a lot of information from a lot of different people telling you contradictory things, okay? So what you are doing is you're sorting through what it is that you want. You're looking at what it is that you desire and you're saying, you know what? This resonates with me. This is what I need to do and everything else, take it with a grain of salt. Take this reading with a grain of salt. Take everything with a grain of salt in these 10 days and really focus on what it is that your heart wants and what it is that your soul wants in order for you to move forward. You're carrying a great burden with you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and it's weighing you down. It's making you feel less than you usually feel. It's making you feel as if, you know, that you're never going to get through the struggle that is before you. And I just keep on, my eyes just keep on coming back to this Five of Cups energy. It is sitting there and it's making you feel as if you can't do it. It's making you sit there and see the betrayals and see the hurt and see the pain that has been in life for you. And you're really you're moving past it. You're really trying to sit there and say, okay, you know what? I know this has happened. I know that hardships and pain and anger have come my way, it's okay. It's okay to feel your emotions. The cups are also about embracing your emotions, embracing what it is that you want, embracing what it is that you desire from life. Because as you do, you're going to see that you move forward. You're going to see that instead of sitting there and saying, no, I can't be angry. No, I can't be sad. No, I have to keep on achieving and succeeding. And people can only see me smiling. No, this is saying, feel your emotions, be who it is that you need to be and be because it's going to help you keep on moving forward. It's going to embrace what it is that you want because you're standing upon or before the altar that is your existence and people are seeing you. People are seeing the hard work that you put in. So even if you think, oh my gosh, nobody's seeing how much time, how much effort I put into this project. Nobody's seeing how much I love and care for my family. Nobody's seeing how hard I work. That's not true, okay? There is almost as if there's there's your perception of things right now that feels a little bit like a lie. It feels as if you're seeing things and because emotions are running high and because you are the type of person who wants to succeed, who wants to achieve, who ho holds yourself to such high standards, you are going to have moments where you don't feel as if people are seeing you. You don't feel as if you're making the progress that you want to make. Stop being so hard on yourself, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. They are seeing you. They are embracing your majesty. They are you know, sitting there and saying, wow, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you work so hard. You know what it is that you want and you're going after it. So that is something that you kind of have to switch your mind just a little bit, switch your perception because you are being recognized for the hard work that you're doing. Maybe not within these 10 days, if you are working on a big project, if you are, you know, if you have something really intense that needs to be done, but but people are, okay, no, they are seeing you within these 10 days. You might not be getting the verbal recognition that you want, but they are going to sit there and start talking amongst themselves and saying, you work so hard, Leo. You achieve so much. And this is a person that we want on our team. This is a person who we can trust, whether it be in work, whether it be in your home life. People are seeing the hard work that you put in and it is being appreciated. So I do know that right now you're having this bit of a struggle. This it is okay. It is okay to sit there and feel as if nobody is seeing you and know that you are still moving forward. Know that you are still embracing what it is that you want because you're standing before your truth. You're moving forward in your majesty. You're using your passion. You're using your logic. You're using your prosperity of self and you're using your compassion to help you keep on achieving your goals and keep on going after what it is that you want. Because you are doing this, you are going to see things start to change within these 10 days, maybe a little bit later, but there is a sense of business trips coming up. There is a sense of moving house. There is a sense of celebration. There is something moving forward. Now you might not be moving house. You might be going on a holiday. You might be looking at things and saying, you know what, after the holidays, I just need to stay home and take care of what I need to take care of. This is saying that there's a celebration around the home, around those people who you value as much as family, okay? They are looking at you. They are seeing what you have achieved. They are seeing how you have moved forward. And there is a sense of, of you being embraced by those that you love. Now, 
This is also saying within a relationship for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, some of you have broken up with somebody, okay? And you don't think that there is going to be a relationship that is going to move you forward the way that you had. There's a heartbreak here that is being overcome. There is a sense here of people seeing you, you getting out there more. This could be you you dating more. This could be you going to more events. This could be you going onto a dating site. Whatever this is, it is that people see you more and you start to get the the dates, the recognition from other people that you want and that is going to go a long way to healing this hurt within your heart and within your soul. So this is also saying here that your relationships are going to start taking on a new level. It doesn't just have to be romantic relationships. It could be within your home, within your family, within your workspace. You're going to see that people start to really appreciate you for what you have done, really appreciate how you have moved forward. This isn't saying to, you know, to sit there and think that everybody's going to praise you all the time. This is really knowing that people are seeing the hard work that you put into your life, seeing every way that you have sacrificed and everything that you have done for them. And they're really starting to appreciate that within you. And you are starting to feel as if, okay, things are finally shifting, things are finally moving, and people are finally seeing me for all the hard work, all the time, all the effort that I have put into every, everything. Because for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, it's important for people to see that you are giving so much of yourself, that you are giving so much time, that you are giving so much effort, because you are such a hard worker. You are the type of person who will work, you know, until you just can't go anymore, take a quick nap, and then go back right at it to be able to make the prosperity, to be able to achieve the prosperity that you want within your life, to be able to make things happen and to start seeing the changes that you want. So that is really something within these 10 days that you are embracing and that people are going to start acknowledging within you. There is this heartbreak here with the Five of Cups. There is this heartbreak, there is this sorrow that I keep on going back to that I really do feel has made up so much of your life up until this point. You have been betrayed, you have felt heartbroken, you have seen things fall apart, and you're sitting there and you're looking at it and you're going, why? Why does this keep on happening? Why can't I make the leeway? That's why there's this huge dichotomy between what people are seeing of you and what you are seeing of yourself. You're being so hard on yourself because you're seeing these as failures. You're seeing that, okay, I could have done things differently in order to have gotten to a different place. And you're questioning your decisions. You're questioning everything that you have done in order to get you to this point. Now it's time to stop. It is time to stop questioning yourself so much, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, because people aren't being, people aren't as hard on you as you are on yourself. And that is something that might be hard to understand. That might be something that you sit there and say, Dane, no, I, can, I know that they are disappointed in me. I know that they are angry at me. Those people don't care so much about them. Don't sit there and give them so much of your power because there are people here these, this air sign, this water sign, who love you, who want you to move forward, who want you to go in celebration, okay? There is a cancer in your life who is is helping you to move forward or somebody with cancer in their chart who is sitting there and being your greatest cheerleader. If you don't know that person or if you're sitting there and saying, Dane, you know, I don't know any cancer, then that's for a, a different watcher, a different person who is watching this reading. But there are people that could be a Pisces too. There's something with this water sign who is really sitting there and saying, you can do it. You can make it, you can achieve it, you can go after your goals, and I believe in you 150%. This is saying, don't give those people who you are never going to make happy all your power or all your energy. Turn around, see the love, see the compassion that is behind you, that is there with you, that is moving you forward, because this is the Two of Cups coming through, where all you're seeing is the Three of Cups. And for me, the Three of Cups is betrayal, it's heartbreak, it is a false friend, it is somebody who you sat there and you trusted with your heart and your soul, and who just kind of turns and absolutely betrays you. And you sit there and you're devastated. I feel as if this is some sort of betrayal that has cut you very deep, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Now you're turning around, you're seeing the love, you're seeing the prosperity, you're seeing the people who really care about you and who will always care about you. And if you're saying, Dane, there's nobody in that like that in my life, then this is the angels wrapping their wings around you, knowing that you are going to get to where it is that you need to be because people are seeing you more than ever before. They're seeing your hard work, they're seeing the time, they're seeing 
seeing the effort that you put into everything and that is being acknowledged and it is something that is going to move you forward it's going to start healing it is going to start bringing you the prosperity that you want and it's going to start changing the the pattern okay because i feel with the leo and within the cards for you leo sun moon or ascendant it has felt like a pattern of monotony it has felt like you are against an uphill struggle that you're never going to get to the top that your sister is forever you know forced to roll that boulder up the hill just to have it fall again you are getting to where it is that you need to be you are making the the changes you are working hard people are acknowledging are going to be acknowledging your hard work this is also a time for you to get out there more don't hide away leo sun moon or ascendant because i feel that this five of cups energy here is just so powerful is so strong that you're going to want to hide away you're going to want to sit there and say you know what i've really had enough i've had enough of people judging me i've had enough of feeling as if i can't get to where it is that i need to be here with the magician keep I'm putting yourself out there. Keep on doing what it is that you need to do to have your best life possible because it is going to be celebrated. It is going to be, there is going to be something that moves you forward and that you sit there and go, wow, if I never took this chance, if I never, you know, worked this hard, you would never get this reward that is coming and it's big and it's beautiful. You have here the moon card. The moon card is all about your courage and your wisdom moving you forward. The courage, I see this, the moon as... Artemis, the goddess of the hunt in Greek mythology, guiding you, moving you forward, helping you achieve your goals, helping you overcome obstacles. Athena, the goddess of wisdom in Greek mythology, really sitting there and being right there with you, saying be wise in your judgment, see things for what they truly are, not what you might be feeling they are, what, what, not what they might be, you know, not what other people might want you to perceive them as, because for some of you, you do have somebody in your life who wants you to stumble and fail. You do have somebody who wants you to fall down and not be able to move forward the way that you should be, okay? That person is a person who you kind of have to step back and say, you know what, no. It is a person that you trust, but it's a person who has disappointed you time and time again. It is a person that you sit there and you say, you know what, I do so much of this work. I put in so much time. I put in so much effort. And I'm not asking, you're not asking that they do what you're doing. You're not asking that they stand before the altar of their existence and proclaim their worth, okay? You're asking that they be students of their of their prosperity. It could even be this air sign energy that's around you who is somebody who you want to be, who needs to grow up. It's the best way that I can put it. This person who needs to grow up and who needs to stand beside you and be more of the person that you need instead of the person who always needs you to take care of them. This is saying here because this page of swords energy is something that is about youth it is about understanding it is about looking at things differently but sometimes the way that you look at things differently and the biggest catalyst in your life that can be moving you forward leo sun moon or ascendant is the person who kind of turns everything on their heads so as much as i feel as if this is a person who has your best intentions at heart who has love for you at their soul this is also a person who at times for some of you leo sun moon or ascendant just can't be the person that you need all the time who you sit there and you give them chance after chance after chance and they they don't they don't lift you up they don't lift you up they sit there and you have these moments of just thinking okay it's going to be okay but then you have these other moments of thinking this is never going to work and I'm never going to be where it is that I want to be there is something about this water sign energy this scorpio this what is it pisces this cancer and definitely Cancer and Pisces are coming through loud and clear here that is going to help you move forward. It's going to help you see the love, the harmony within yourself. It doesn't have to be that this starts to be a, rom excuse me, a romantic relationship, though for some of you it very well might be. This is saying that you, they start to make you see the love that you have within yourself because with this moon card, it is saying that your fears are becoming your strengths, that you're not seeing things as the... You're not seeing the trees as the shadows of monsters. Do you know what I'm saying? When you go camping, when you're little and you look out into the forest and you have all these trees around you and you think, oh my gosh, there are monsters everywhere. No, they're just shadows. You're seeing the shadows for what they truly are. 
This isn't fear holding you back anymore. This is you spreading your wings and moving forward in wisdom, moving forward in prosperity, moving forward knowing what it is that you desire, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, and knowing where it is you want to go. This is you embracing your truth. This is you knowing that your luck is right here and it's within the water. It's going back to this water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, somebody who is helping you move forward. Now, you might even have a Pisces or a Cancer within your own chart. This means that you seeing things differently, you standing on the altar of your existence and being seen and going out there and taking yourself out of your comfort zone is showing that you are moving forward in this very real, very prosperous way and that you are being that kind of cheerleader to yourself. If nobody is going to cheer you on, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you're going to cheer yourself on because you have that strength of character. You have that strength of perseverance. That's why you're represented by the strength card in the Major Arcana deck. You are strong, you are prosperous, you are bountiful, and nothing is going to stop you. Your next card, the Chariot. Now, I did three clarifying cards here because that's just what I feel like you guys need right now. And I felt that for every single reading that I have done for the 11th through the 20th, just a little extra guidance, a little extra understanding. The chariot is you reigning in your emotions and moving forward. As I've said before, it could be the cancer that is helping you move forward. It could be someone who you trust, who you understand, who has this loving, caring nature to them, who is very, very nurturing, helping you to be where it is that you want to be. Now, it doesn't have to mean that they are a cancer. It could mean that they have cancer qualities to them. So for each and every one of you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, because this is a general reading, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. But the overall message here is that somebody loves you enough to stand beside you, or your angels are with you close enough to wrap their wings around you and say, rein in your emotions. Don't let this because the five of cups this negativity right here can be enough to drain away your whole 10 days to take away all this beauty all this prosperity that is here for you and say you know what you're going to focus on all the pain all the sorrows all the ways that you don't feel loved don't do that to yourself leo sun moon or ascendant rein in your emotions keep your eye on your goal keep your eye on the prosperity that you want within your life keep your eye on where it is that you want to be and keep on moving forward because that's where you're going that's how you're going to achieve. That's how you're going to overcome this hurdle by saying, you know what? Everybody has bad days. Everybody has people in their lives. Sometimes you can even consider this person a soulmate. And the thing with soulmates is not every soulmate is meant to be kind of that twin flame love. Soulmates are also meant to elevate your soul, to get you to the place that you need to be on this journey that you've written out in your chart before you came down here. I very much believe that we made agreements with the universe, with the divine, and said, okay, I'm going to go through these difficulties so that I can be where it is that I want to be in my life. I can progress my soul and be in that plane of of heaven, of existence, of the universe that I want to be at. So this is saying here that the angels wrap their wings around you and they're not going to let you fail. They're not going to let you fall apart, even though at times during these 10 days especially, you're going to feel as if you're being frayed at the edges. Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, keep strong, keep focused because your greatest strength is in the details. Your greatest strength is in the prosperity that comes through you looking at things wisely and with understanding and compassion at your heart. You are guarding your money because you see how her foot is on those coins and the jug is on the other one. She's guarding her money. She is, you know, protecting herself, really sitting there and working on the prosperity, the warmth, the abundance that she wants. Now, in the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is shown by a man standing with three other men and they're creating a cathedral. Here it is one woman working on the details of creating this beautiful blanket. Warmth, comfort, a sense of security, being able to come with you every single day instead of you having to go to a cathedral, to go to a religious-like setting in order to get there. This is warmth embracing you. This is love wrapping you. And this is you having built it, having worked on it. Never, ever, ever lose faith in yourself and keep paying attention to those details. Keep paying attention to the little ways that you are being treated because that is going to kind of make you see things differently, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. So keep paying attention to the details because you're moving forward. You're, you're working on the details. You're working on what it is that you truly want. And then we have you shining through loud and proud. We have you as the queen of wands, knowing what it is that you want. You hold the sun in your hands with the sunflower. You're connected with the spirit. I think that's going right back to this water sign here. I definitely feel as if this water sign 
It could be a Pisces. It could be a Cancer. It could be, you know, what is it? A Pisces, Cancer. It could be a Scorpio. There we go. Who is helping you to get to where it is that you want to be. But it's also saying that you're embracing that type of energy. You're embracing your emotions. You're looking at things deeper. This is also saying that you are understanding your passion. You're understanding that uniqueness that makes you Le you Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You are understanding what it is that you need to do in order to get to where it is that you want to be. You're not hiding from your responsibilities. You're embracing them fully and absolutely. You are wearing this crown upon your head, knowing that you are blessed. That's what kings and queens are all about. They are divinely chosen by God. That's what they were said in the Middle Ages, to be the divinely chosen by God to rule over the people, to live in wealth and prestige while others lived in poverty. You are embracing that wealth and prestige. And though I think it is an antiquated system for today's world, it is saying here that it is your divine right to embrace what it is that you want from your life, to embrace the prosperity that you desire, and to move forward in your passion and in your understanding. And I'm just going to move these around because this is how I see it. We're starting with this pain. As I said before, this pain can be around this air sign, this Gemini, this Libra, this Aquarius, or this could be somebody who is having you see things differently, having you see that you deserve to be treated better. But I definitely feel that for most of you, that's coming from this water sign here. But this air sign is, is somebody who, you know, you're learning lessons, you are understanding things, you're getting messages from the divine, they're helping you to move forward. But there is a time and there has been a time of you feeling as if all that life has to offer you is a sense of betrayal, is a sense of heartbreak, is that things aren't working out the way that you had them planned. It's saying to change your point of view, to take what it is that you want, take the messages that are coming your way, learn the lessons that are coming to you, especially from this air sign here, and know that you're changing things. You're looking at your prosperity. You're standing before the altar of what it is that you want. People are seeing you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Libra, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. They are seeing who you are. They're seeing what you want. And they are seeing that you are putting so much time and so much effort into what it is that you are trying to create. You're moving forward in healing beautiful love and nothing is going to stop you. There is also people here who absolutely want you to succeed and win. Don't let the shadows scare you. Don't sit there and kind of make mountains out of molehills. There's a sense here of you seeing the truth of the matter, you moving forward in your courage and your wisdom, gaining your prosperity, gaining what it is that you want, having the celebration of home. This could be a business trip. This could be moving house. This could be a change that is coming your way within a relationship after a time of heartbreak and pain, after a time of thinking that maybe, you know, love just wasn't for you, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. You're having this relationship come in and it's building you up. For those of you who want a relationship, for those of you who are focusing on your work, it's your work really sitting there and saying, yes, we see you. They see you and you're going to have things start to come that start to sit there and you're like, wow, I didn't expect to get promoted. I didn't expect them to make an offer or to say something that was going to mean that I'm being you know, that you're being considered for something, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is just something that you're celebrating with your family, for with those nearest and dearest to you. You're rating in your emotions. You're moving forward. Nothing is going to stop you. Pay attention to the details. That's where you're if that's how you're going to meet your goals, that's where things are really going to start. You're really going to start to see the change and where things like are really starting to change within your life. You're embracing your passion. You're embracing your understanding. This is coming through a more caring, compassionate way. So don't be so hard on yourself, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Yeah, there is definitely with the Eight of Cups here, there's a, you walking away from something. It, for some of you, this could be a divorce. This could be an end of a relationship. This could be just sitting there and saying, you know what, this place is toxic for me. This could be leaving a job. This is an end of something. It could even be a mindset. This pressure that you have been putting on yourself, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, you're starting to have that lift away from your shoulders. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't expect the impossible because you are moving forward and you are obtaining your goals. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. I know this has been a kind of weighty read reading. I hope it has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness, and may harmony be with you always. Bye.